Before being hired or even promoted for a job, many employers depend on information revealed in a background check. In fact, 80 percent of employers have done some sort of check on job applicants. Here with what you need to know about the background check is Tony Bashara. He's our employment expert and star, and he's the author of four books about how to find a job and the online site, thejobsearchsolution.com. Welcome back to the show, Tony. So tell us, what are these employers looking for? Well, they're looking for all kinds of things that could give them an indication of how you might perform in their job. They look for credit. They look for liens against you, tax liens, DWIs, um, uh, bankruptcies, uh, credit problems, uh, education problems, anything along that line that might give them information about how you're going to perform, not only personally, but as a professional. So can any employer look at your credit? Yeah, it's uh, public information, and most of the time they hire an organization to dig into your credit. Uh, bankruptcies, DWIs, background checks themselves are public information, and employers use them because, one, they are public information, and they can get to them. There's not much an individual can do to keep those records from being available to the employer. So you have no control over it as a candidate. You have to make sure that you've got the best foot forward in all those reports, obviously. Yes. But this could keep you from getting a job or a promotion, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, at least once a month, twice a month in our, our recruitment firm, we have a background check or a credit check stand in the way of somebody getting hired. All right, so how do I put my best foot forward? How do I look good? Because, you know, these days they're not just looking at the official records. They're also right. looking on Facebook and checking out, you know, what kinds of yeah. photographs you're, you're putting online. Oh, yeah. We, we estimate that 40% of the time that an employer checks somebody's um, Facebook or uh, even LinkedIn, for that matter, they don't hire the candidate based on what they found. So here's some of the things you can do. Do your own background check on yourself. Uh, do a credit check on yourself. You absolutely have to know what that employer is going to find out. Every once in a while you run into a situation where there's a identity theft or you get confused with somebody else, another Jerry Willis out there that maybe is not as stellar as you might be. And then, most importantly, knowing what's on there so when you go into the interviewing situation, should you get that far with the employer, you need to explain to the employer, look, when you do right. a background check, you're going to find a bankruptcy, or you're going to find a felony, or you're going to find a few DWIs. You need to know, Listen, here's what I've done know, to rectify them. I know people that's happened to. A friend of mine, his name is David mm -hmm. John Evans really common name, right? How many people have that right. name? And lots of bad guys have that name. So you have to make sure that right. you're not being confused with somebody else. That's absolutely true. Uh, and when it comes to being on the web, because a lot of young candidates out there, their entire lives are online. What would you say to young people out there? You know what mama used to say about being on the front page of the paper. If you don't want it on the front page of the paper, <laughs> don't put it anywhere. Because, you know, now we don't have many papers anymore. But Mama was right. Don't say anything about anybody, about yourself, about anything that you wouldn't want Mama to be proud of because somebody's going to find it and you won't get hired because of it. Great advice. And Tony's website is called thejobsearchsolution.com. Check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jerry. Always a pleasure.